Everyone is well aware of the notorious rapper NBA Youngboy. He's the kind of guy who wakes up in the morning just to stir up some drama, which has landed him in hot water with numerous other rappers. Despite his controversial reputation, NBA Youngboy has managed to establish himself as a force to be reckoned with in the rap industry. He's impulsive and rarely considers the consequences of his actions, showing little regard for anyone else. While many people fear him, there are still plenty who couldn't care less about him and wouldn't hesitate to call him out. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video to discover which rappers have never been intimidated by NBA Youngboy. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Rap News Gossip for more amazing rap news. NBA Youngboy's aggressive persona, NBA Youngboy, Baton Rouge rapper, has gained recognition for his distinctive rhythmic style and hard-hitting bars. His affiliation with M-Town Records has further solidified his popularity. However, what sets him apart is his notorious reputation for his aggressive nature. Growing up in the streets and being deeply involved in gangs has shaped his brutal demeanor. This reputation has made him a feared figure in the rap industry. It is important to note that NBA Youngboy's violent tendencies are not a recent development. They can be traced back to his childhood when he suffered a neck injury while wrestling, resulting in the need for a head brace until his spine healed. The scar left on his forehead serves as a constant reminder of his resilience and toughness from an early age. It is clear that NBA Youngboy is not someone to be taken lightly. Let's not forget that the rapper has faced numerous arrests for various crimes, including theft, attempted first-degree murder in connection to theft, and many others. This notorious lifestyle of his his, has instilled fear in fellow rappers, who wisely choose to steer clear of his path to avoid any trouble. However, there are several bold rappers like Boozy Badass, Lil Durk, and Kodak Black, who are never intimidated by NBA Young Boy and never hesitate to call him out. Boozy Badass, Boozy Badass is a rapper who doesn't back down from anyone. Instead of being bullied, he's the one doing the bullying. He's had his fair share of conflicts with other rappers, including NBA Youngboy. Boozy isn't afraid to stand up for himself and speak his mind when he feels disrespected. This was evident when he called out NBA Youngboy for disrespecting him. Fans were left puzzled by the whole situation, especially since Boozy had shown admiration for NBA Youngboy in the past. Many fans even hoped for a collaboration album between the two. Considering NBA Youngboy as a younger version of Boozy. The situation between the two individuals was going smoothly until 2022, when NBA young boy, who was on house arrest after being released from jail, decided to release a diss track in his track titled, I Hate Young Boy. He took shots at Boozy Badass, claiming that feel like Boozy don't even like me, don't call my phone you. However, Boozy Badass wasted no time in responding with his own counter diss track titled, I don't call phones, I call shots. In this track, he fired back at NBA Young Boy, stating that if he truly felt that way, why didn't he call him directly instead of releasing a song? Boozy made it clear that he saw through NBA Young Boy's fake behavior and warned him not to speak on him anymore, as he doesn't tolerate such disrespect. Let's keep it real. NBA Young Boy, you were acting like a coward. First and last time speaking on this, he continued to rap. If you felt that way, why you ain't call me on my phone number? You know, you wrong clearing all these songs, don't go clear song, but fake it. Like you a dog, that's that fake, don't speak on me. No more little, you know, I don't go for that. Let's keep it real, dog. You was a ho for that. This isn't the end of the beef between Boozy Badass and Young Boy isn't over yet. Boozy Badass recently discussed the issue in an interview with Vlad TV, shedding more light on the situation. When asked why he didn't reach out to Young Boy to resolve things, he simply replied, I don't want to kill him. He continued saying, So I just wanted to say what I had to say I a really promote the song. I just wanted to say what I had to say, but I just felt like I'll say what I had to say over the mic, and that's it, you know. Like I said, my first and last time speaking on it, I was gonna say what I had to say, and that's it. Boozy Badass said, Although he didn't take Young Boy diss track to hard, he just wanted to talk. I was just saying some, like he do, that's all I felt. I didn't even take that to heart, really. The rapper also spoke on how he felt about Young Boy, not clearing the songs they have together, and added that this was one of the reasons that influenced his decision, decision to make his track. You clearing all of these other songs, but you're supposed to be my dog, you ain't clearing my, he said. I didn't like that. This was all in a bid to let him be a young boy. No, don't move like that. Lil Durk, 
the rapper, stands out from the rest. He is not someone who fears others. Instead, he instills fear in them. It comes as no surprise that he never feared NBA young boy, considering his reputation. However, when the tragic death of King Vaughn, who happens to be Lil Durk's closest friend, involved rapper Quando Rondo, signed to NBA young boy's label, it sparked an instant rivalry between Lil Durk and young boy. NBA young boy takes a jab at King Vaughn in his latest track, Bring the Hook, causing things to escalate. Lil Durk, who witnessed this disrespectful act towards his late friend, wasted no time in firing back with a swift reply, don't claim it if you don't do it, you still a. Before this event, Lil Durk released a song, Ah Ha, where he took shots at NBA Youngboy saying, acting like they really like that since my Brody died, bomb just got out, the feds bring up murders with your police. Lil Durk was once a fan of NBA Youngboy, but now it seems like there's some tension between them. Recently, a billboard featuring Lil Durk was put up in NBA Youngboy's hometown of Baton Rouge. It's almost like a jab at NBA Youngboy's Young Boy Better slogan, which his crew used for their own billboards, promoting his 2020 project. It's clear that there's some bad blood between them now. This is giving some I don't give two FS about you vibe. Kodak Black. Kodak Black doesn't give fucks to about anyone. Kodak Black doesn't care less about anyone. He's willing to beef with anyone even from behind bars. The two rappers appeared to be buddies at one point, but Kodak Black decided to end it when he started dissing NBA Youngboy in his track time never mattered. He rapped, but I hope that I don't go broke again. I'm killing young babies. Kodak never going broke again. You a free agent. Many fans were left puzzled, trying to figure out the motive behind Kodak Black's unexpected attack on young boy. This incident is not the first time Kodak has attempted to prove that he is not intimidated by young boy. He recently made his presence known on Instagram, involving himself in the Ayana Mayweather controversy. Ayana was accused of stabbing young boy's baby mama, Lapatra Lashai Jacobs. Kodak Black accuses young boy of cooperating with the police, saying, the hell they mean fully cooperated lol, they ain't say a little piece bit they say say fully big anyway man that word ain't even posed to be attached to your name this only got worse as dj academics posted a clip of kodak blasting young boy via phone call i'll keep posting homie kodak said during the call i'll keep on clout chasing in your voice and make you do something boy stop playing with me boy for real boy talking about sucker talking about sucker playing with a real one like that you don't play with no man like that talking about sucker homie However, NBA Youngboy has recently been clamoring for no violence. Does this mean he's going to reduce his violent nature? And will this lead to a change in his aggressive behavior? How will other rappers perceive him now? Share your thoughts in the comments below. That's a wrap for today's video. If you like this content, remember to subscribe to Rap News Gossip for more updates. And don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment. Thank you.